welcome to your yoga practice. Today, we're going to be flowing through a creative flow with some open twists. So take this pause to flow and open your body. We'll meet first in a tabletop position, because we will be visiting this pose quite often in this practice. This flow will have no chaturangas, but lots of tabletops and cat cows. So from your tabletop position, your hands are underneath your shoulders, the cuts are both here, knees are underneath your hips, toes can be tucked or untucked. Inhale, belly down, chest up, tailbone up, cow pose, exhaling into cat. So we're getting right into it, rounding the back, tucking the chin, tucking the tailbone, inhaling cow. Exhaling, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhaling, neutral tabletop position. You can have blocks for this practice. Just make sure that they're off to the side to start off with. From your tabletop position, left hand under your heart, lift up the right arm, open twist here, exhaling, right arm goes underneath, right shoulder on the mat, right ear on the mat, pressing into the left hand, nothing fancy here, just getting into the side body. So you'll feel this twist, especially in the right side. Oh, we'll be using our arms a lot to reach some open twists so opening the shoulders feels good also getting into our side body nice and early will help us with our twists press into your left hand bring up your right arm open twist exhaling right hand down sweep your left arm up open twist to your tabletop and exhaling, left arm goes through, left shoulder, left ear in the mat, pressing into the mat right in front of your face. And as you do both sides, take notice. Which side did you feel more sensation? My right side definitely felt more. I'm really breathing into this shoulder opener, this twist. Deep breaths only go as far as you can still take deep breaths. Press into your hand, lift the left arm up, counter twist, exhaling, hands down. Tap the toes under and let's sit our tailbone up into our downward facing dog. Press into both hands evenly, press into your feet. Heels go as far as they can. They do not need to ever reach the mat. You can have a bend in your knees. Let's try to be still in this one. Let's try to be still. A few deep breaths here, really toning the core, bringing that belly button to your spine. Oh, just seeing what it feels like to be in this downward facing dog today. Now that we get to be steady, four points of contact on the mat. Hmm, listen closely, walk your hands back to your feet. Feet hips width distance apart, grab onto opposite elbows. Generous bend in the knees, your chest comes to your thighs. And again, just finding some moments of release before we start to move. Checking in with your body. How are your hamstrings in this forward fold? How's your upper back? Mid back, lower back. How's your neck? How are your face muscles? Are you gripping into any part of your body? Feel free to give a little shake here. Release your arms, bend your knees, and then coming up to standing, arms up, tall mountain pose. Exhaling, hands to your heart. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhaling, folding forward, hinging at the hips with a straight spine. Hands towards the mat. Inhaling, halfway lift. Hands on your shin, straight back, look forward. Exhaling, bending your knees, hands towards the mat, walking them forward, downward facing dog. Hmm, two breaths here. 
We're going to do that same thing two more times. Listen closely, walking your hands back to meet your feet. Grab onto opposite elbows, give a sway side to side, release your arms. Coming up to standing one vertebrae at a time, inhaling arms up, exhaling hands to your heart, inhale arms up, look up at your hands, exhaling, hinging at the hips, forward fold, hands towards the mat, inhaling, halfway lift, hands on your shin, looking forward, straight spine, exhaling, hands come to the mat, walking forward, downward facing dog. It's a little bit different, it's kind of like a backward, parts of a sun salutation A, eh? just to move. Gently getting into our hamstrings, warming up our wrists and our shoulders. And one more time, walk your hands back. Grabbing onto opposite elbows, give a sway side to side. Release the arms, bending your knees, rolling up to standing one vertebrae at a time. Arms come up last, head comes up, looking up at your hands, exhaling hands to your heart, inhaling arms sweep up, look up at your hands, exhaling forward fold, hinging at the hips straight back, hands towards the mat, inhaling, halfway lift, hands to your shins straight back, looking forward, exhaling hands come to the mat, walking forward, downward facing dog. <sighs> Two more breaths here, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose and breathing with you. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. Looking forward at your hands on an inhale, exhaling to walk forward towards your hands, inhaling halfway lift, exhale forward fold. Inhaling, rolling up to standing, arms up, look up. Exhale, hands come to your heart. We're now at the front of the mat. We'll do some sun A's with cat cow in the middle. Inhaling, inhaling, arms up, look up. Exhaling, hinging at the hips, forward fold. Hands come towards the mat. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, stepping back, high plank. Inhale here. Exhaling, coming into your tabletop position. Inhaling, cow pose. Exhaling, cat pose. Inhale, neutral, neutral spine. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhaling, inhaling, looking forward. Exhaling, stepping forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, rolling up to standing. Arms up, look up. Exhaling, hands come to your heart. So let's do that again. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhaling, forward fold, hinging at the hips, hands come towards the mat. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, hands down. Coming back into your high plank. From high plank, come to your tabletop position. Inhaling, cow pose. Exhaling, cat pose. Inhaling, neutral spine. Exhaling, tucking the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhaling, this time you can step or hop towards the front of your mat. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, coming up to standing. Arms up, look up. This time, exhaling right into your forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Hands come to your shins. Exhaling, hands down, high plank pose. Inhaling here, exhaling, knees down, tabletop. Inhaling, cow pose. Exhaling, cat. Inhaling, neutral. Exhaling, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhaling, step or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, coming up to stand, arms up, look up. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, hands to the mat, high plank pose. Inhaling here. Exhaling, knees down, tabletop. Inhaling, cow pose. 
Exhale in cat pose. Inhaling neutral tabletop. Exhaling downward facing dog. Inhaling looking forward. On your toes, bend the knees. Exhaling, stepping or hopping. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, coming up to stand. Arms up, look up one more time. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, coming back, high plank pose. Inhale, high plank. Exhaling, tabletop. Inhaling, cow pose. Exhaling, cat. Inhaling, tabletop. Exhaling, downward facing dog. And we breathe. Catching your breath here. We just move steadily with our breath. In yoga, we move, we shake things up. And then we pause and we let things settle. Take this opportunity to check in. You can always take a child's pose. You do not need to do anything that I say. Always listen to your body. Your body comes first. Your body, then my words. From here, right leg goes up on an inhale. Open up the hip, bend the knee, stretch. Try to keep your shoulders square towards the mat. You can do this by really pressing into that right hand. Bring that right shoulder down slightly because it really wants to lift up. Yeah. And then straighten that right leg, square in the hip. Exhaling right foot forward, left knee down, coming up into a low lunge. Stay up high in this low lunge. So your hips are over that back knee. Inhaling here. Exhaling to open, twist your left hand forward, right hand back. Breathing here in a nice open twist. Keeping your shoulders over your hips, knee over your ankle. They're nice and stacked, muscles are engaged. Breathing. And inhaling, arms go up. Exhaling, hands down, stepping back, tabletop position. Coming up into your shins, lifting the right arm up. Goes back behind you, bring your back, bring your hand to your lower back. Left hand goes up, slight back bend. And exhaling, cartwheel the hands down, back to your tabletop position, tucking the toes under, downward facing dog. We're going to build upon that and take that back bend deeper if you'd like as we go along. Inhaling, left leg up, open the hip, Bend the knee, stretch, and same thing as the other side. Really square those shoulders. So press more into the left hand to bring that left shoulder down. Inhaling, square in the hips. Exhaling, left foot forward, right knee down. Inhaling, arms up again. Staying up higher in this low lunge. It helps you get stronger into that open twist. Your hips are over your knee. Front knee sucks over the front ankle. Inhale. Exhaling, open twist. Right hand forward, left hand back. Breathing here. Shoulders stack over the hips. Left knee over the left ankle. For more stability, keep that right. Those right toes are tucked. Arms are active, active fingers. Give spirit fingers if you'd like. And then left hand down to bring it up. Inhale, exhaling, hands down, stepping back into tabletop position. Coming up onto your shins, left arm swings up and around, bring it to your lower back. Right arm goes up, taking a slight back bend this time. Exhaling, cartwheeling the hands down, tabletop position, tucking the toes, coming back into your downward facing dog. Two breaths here, again, you can take a child's pose if you need to. One more breath. Hmm. All right, let's do that again. Inhaling, right leg up, open up the hip, bend the knee, stretch. Inhaling, squaring the hips. 
bringing the right foot forward, left knee down, coming up, low lunge. Bringing it into your open twist. A couple breaths here. Right arm down to bring it up. Exhaling both hands down, stepping back into your tabletop position. Tucking the toes under, coming on to the shin, spinning the right arm up and over, bring it to the right heel if you can, or to your lower back again. Left arm up, taking a half camel pose. And then cartwheeling up, both hands down to the mat, tabletop position, then sending your hips up, downward facing dog. We'll keep doing this so you will get used to the movement. Inhaling. Left leg goes up, open the hip, bend the knee, stretch. Then square in the hips. We're in the left foot forward, right knee down, inhaling, arms up. Exhaling to settle. Inhaling. Exhaling, open twist. Inhale here. Exhaling here. Inhale. Exhale, nice and strong. Inhaling, left arm down and then up. Exhaling, hands down, stepping back, tabletop position with tucked toes. Inhaling up into your shins, swing the left arm up and over to reach your left ankle. Right arm goes up, half camel pose. Again, you can be with your left hand on your lower back. And then coming up, swing both hands forward, cartwheeling them into your tabletop. Sending the hips up, downward facing dog. All right. Let's do that again. Inhaling, right leg up, open the hip, bend the knee, stretch. Inhaling, square in the hips. Bringing the right foot forward, left knee down. Inhale, both arms up. Exhaling, coming into your open twist. Inhaling, coming back into your low lunge. Exhaling, hands down, taking it back, tabletop position. Coming up, bringing your right arm over onto your right ankle, half camel pose. And then up, cartwheeling your hands, tabletop position, sending your hips up, downward facing dog. So we're getting used to this movement. Inhaling, left leg up, open up the hip, bend the knee, stretch. Inhaling, square in the hips. We're in the right, left foot forward, right knee down. Inhaling, arms up, low lunge. Exhaling, open twist. Inhaling, low lunge. Exhaling, hands down, coming into your tabletop position. Inhaling, left arm goes up and over into your half camel on your left side. And then cartwheel your hands down, tabletop, sending your hips up. Downward facing dog. A few breaths here. Hmm. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. And you can keep that back knee down or you can come up to the next level by keeping that back knee lifted. The flow will be very similar. Inhaling, right leg up, open the hip, bend the knee, stretch. Inhaling, square in the hips, bringing the right foot forward, keeping the left knee lifted, staying on the left toes. Inhaling, arms up, coming up into your high crescent lunge. Inhaling here, and exhaling, open twist, left hand forward, right arm back. So, a little more elevated, this is a little stronger. You can lower your left knee if that feels better. And then right arm goes down and up, inhale. Exhaling, hands come forward to flip, frame the right foot, stepping back, downward facing dog. Then inhaling, tabletop position, coming up onto your shins. Right arm swings back into your half camel. Cartwheeling your hands down, tabletop, sending your hips up, downward facing dog. Other side. Inhaling, left leg up, open the hip, bend the knee, stretch.
stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhaling, square the hips, and then bring that left foot forward, right heel is lifted, right knee is up, if that feels good. Coming into your high crescent lunge. Breathing in, sending that left knee forward even more. And we're really distributing the weight onto that front foot, that left foot. A lot of times it's easy to put all the weight onto the ball of your foot, so put more weight into the heel. Open twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Trying to stay centered over your hips. A few breaths here for stability and strength. Left arm comes down, then then up, inhale. Exhaling, hands down to frame that left foot. Stepping back, downward facing dog. Coming forward, tabletop position. Coming up, left arm swings up and over to reach the left ankle. Right arm moves up and over, half camel. Then cartwheeling, both arms down, tabletop, sending the hips back, downward facing dog. Two breaths here. We will do that one more time. <sighs> Inhaling, right leg up, open the hip, bend the knee, stretch. Inhaling, square in the hips. Bring the right foot forward, left knee is lifted if you want it to be. Inhaling, coming up, high crescent lunge, open twist. High crescent lunge, exhaling, hands down, stepping back, downward facing dog. Coming forward into your tabletop, on your knees, cartwheeling the right arm back to reach your right heel. Coming into your half camel. And cartwheeling the hands forward, tabletop, send the hips up, downward facing dog. Inhaling, left leg goes up, open the hip, bend the knee, stretch. Square in the hips, bringing the left foot forward, keeping the right knee lifted. Coming up into your high crescent lunge. Open twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Left arm swings down and then up, high crescent lunge. Exhaling, hands down to frame the left foot, sending it back into your downward facing dog, coming into your tabletop position, and then standing on your shins. Left arm goes up and back to reach your left ankle. Inhaling, right arm up, half camel pose. Cartwheeling, both hands down, tabletop, sending your hips up, downward facing dog. Hmm. And catching your breath here, lots of open twists, some heart openers. Hmm. Inhale, looking forward. Exhaling to step or jump forward to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, rolling up to standing. Arms up, look up. Exhaling, hands to your heart. Let's do one more sun A with a tabletop cat cow mix. Inhaling, arms up, look up. Exhaling, folding forward, hinging at the knees. Hands come towards the mat. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhaling, into your high plank. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, tabletop. Inhaling, cow. Exhaling, cat. Inhaling, neutral spine. Coming into your downward facing dog. Three breaths here. That was our last vinyasa. Yay! We're going to be coming into our bridge pose. We'll take some closing postures. All right, coming in through tabletop position. Cross your ankles, sit back, rolling onto your glutes, coming onto your back. Knees are hips width distance apart, feet are hips width distance apart. Your hands are alongside your body, fingertips will tickle your heels. Pressing into your hands, pressing into your feet evenly, 
Send your hips up into your bridge pose. You can walk your shoulders under. If you'd like to, you can clasp your hands. We're going to take three bridge poses. I'm not going to be breaking down wheel pose that much, but I will offer it for the second and the third. I won't show it in the second bridge, but I will show it on the third bridge. You can feel free to take a supported bridge here by placing a block underneath your sacrum. It's the bonier part of your lower back. And then release, walk your feet to the edges of your mat, windshield wiper the legs. So knees go to the right and then up and to the left, then up and to the right. This allows you to neutralize your spine. You also might feel some like crinkles and cracks because of all the movement we did. All right, bring your feet back into bridge position, hands by your hips, bridge or wheel. Coming up, I am doing bridge for this one. Oh, so in your bridge, you want your weight evenly distributed in all the parts of your feet. Your knees are drawn together, thighs are adducting, they're coming closer together. Your glutes are naturally engaged, so they're not loose and they're not super tightened and squeezing, they're just naturally engaged. Your lower back is engaged without clenching, your core is engaged. This is both a light back bend and a forward fold because of the way the shin is close to the chest. Inhaling here, exhaling to lower. Again, bring your feet to the wide edges of the mat and then windshield wiper the legs, knees to the right, up, knees to the left, up, knees to the right, up, knees to the left, and up, knees to the right, and up, knees to the left, and up. Bring your feet back into bridge position. Take a bridge pose again, or bring your hands so that your fingers are facing your shoulders, and your fingertips are gonna be right where your shoulders are. Elbows face up. You're gonna press into your feet first. You're almost getting into a bridge, and then roll onto the crown of your head first. Look at your hands, make sure they're even, make sure you can see your fingertips, and then pressing into your hands, coming into your wheel pose. And you want your shoulders to step over your wrists if possible, really pressing into your hands, being really gentle with your body, only taking this if you feel ready, if you feel strong, pressing into your entire feet, if it doesn't feel good on your feet, you can come onto your toes. Sometimes that makes it easier. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to your crown of your head very, very lightly. Then roll down. Bring the insides of your feet together. Knees out wide. Come into your supta baddha konasana. Your reclined butterfly pose. And we'll take a last twist. Knees come in together. Hug in the right knee to your chest. Send the left leg forward. Left hand goes outside the right knee, bringing it across your body into a twist. If you know of another twist that would feel delicious right now, do that. This is the twist I'm offering today but it does not need to be the twist you choose. <laughs> Remember, your body comes first, my words come second. All right, bringing both knees back up to your chest. Keep your left knee in, send your left leg forward, kick any blocks out of the way. And then take your right hand outside your left knee, bringing your left knee over, looking over at your left hand. Oh. Breathing into this twist. And then coming back to center, 
hug your knees in, send your legs up, your arms up, and then like a dead bug, wiggle it out, wiggle it out. I love doing this. <laughs> and then splat into your Shavasana, very short Shavasana today. Allow yourself to descend into your mat and going to stop talking. All right, wiggle your fingers and your toes. Also feel free to stay. Hug your knees into your chest. Either rock into one side to come to seated or rock and roll gently into a seated position to face your mat. All right, bring your hands to your heart center in prayer. Thank you so much for finding this video and taking the time to be on your mat with me. I hope you like, subscribe, and share, and that you enjoyed this pause to take some open twists and to open up your body. Have a beautiful day.